Good afternoon. It's been a busy week, hasn't it? Wednesday was all about Storm Alley and the strength of the wind. Thursday, it was Brona and it was all about rain. In fact, parts of Sheffield had a month's worth of rain before that system cleared away. It has done so. As you can see quite clearly, it's moving off into the North Sea, but behind it, still quite a squeeze in the isobars, which basically means it's still pretty windy out there. And the wind has changed direction, coming now from a northwesterly, a cooler source, and that really is driving right across the country and making for a noticeable difference with the feel of the weather, not just today, but as we go into the weekend as well. So it's a windy afternoon, particularly running down through the Cheshire Gap, through the Midlands, down into parts of Lincolnshire. Eventually those winds will ease and it's sunny spells and scattered showers for the rest of the day. But the showers will fade away overnight, perhaps just keeping going in the far north, but elsewhere with lighter winds and fewer showers and clearer skies, those temperatures are likely to fall away. Single figures in rural spots, a cooler start to Saturday. But we start off on Saturday, yes, on a cooler note, but hopefully with some drier, sunnier weather around as well. The exception is the far north of Scotland. Here we keep some showers and despite some early morning sunshine, cloud will start to gather from the southwest because there's another area of low pressure moving in and it's going to bring some wet weather into the southwest along the south coast towards Wales. And here it will feel pretty miserable. Top temperatures only 11 to 14 or 15 degrees. And down into the south, I really want to illustrate, it is going to feel noticeably cooler. Um, at the beginning of the week, we saw temperatures into the low 20s. So some places a good 10 degrees down on where they have been. You will need a couple of extra layers, a real autumnal flavour to the weather this weekend. As we move out of Saturday into Sunday, we've got another area of low pressure starting to form just off to the west coast of Ireland. And that could bring yet more significant wet and windy weather with it. There's still a level of uncertainty as to just how far north or south this low is going to be sitting, but wrapping around that low, we'll see some pretty strong gusty winds. And as the rain starts to ease away, we could potentially get gales through the Midlands and down into the southeast. So that is worth bearing in mind. Some of that rain on Sunday really could be quite miserable and it's just going to exacerbate the cooler feel. Further north, it's bright and breezy. Take care.